Hey guys, Ironhead back here out in the garage and uh, got this radiator, 4 core radiator, 55 Chevy, and uh, I got to make some brackets, hold this bad boy up, so I made these, uh, take this off here, I made these bars here, throw some holes in, it's just 1 inch by 1 inch, 8th inch bar. Got some holes drilled in it, so it's got some slots there on the, the radiator. I had my hood on here and uh, took my intake manifold off. Had my fender hanging on the passenger side. Set my hood on here and made sure I'm going to have the right amount of clearance. Found out that my whole carburetor is sticking out of the hood, so that's killer. So I made them, them pieces there. And... Uh, so I had this 2 inch 3 16 angle iron, so I made these little tabs here, put them on the frame, frame rails, and I'll probably put two bolts here so this system can come off of here, and uh, then, then I made these little pieces here. That's going to go underneath here, like so. Whoa. I'll go there. Then I made um, these pieces here. You grab these. So those will set there. Those will go underneath. They'll slide under here. This goes up. Adjustment. I'll have a little, I'll have about three quarters of adjustment inch of inches uh, going up. So I'm going to weld that nut to the bracket. So and then I made these about a 76 degree cut on there. Look at that. So then I angled that bottom. And they'll go on there like that. Had it all mocked up, kind of hard to hold with one hand and show you guys, but yeah. Then I made these little plates. Made these little guys, three sixteenths, rounded the edges, and then I'll put that right underneath there to give it some more welding surface. And I think it's going to be pretty stout. I don't think I'll need the the braces coming back from here down to the frame I think it'll be strong enough but yeah well, first thing you guys know you get a new radiator put some cardboard on it put some cardboard on the inside because you know you're gonna fumble around and ding them with nice fins all up I got some little rubber stubbers on my fan too so if it hits into it and my motor's tilted back a little bit I was thinking about leaning my radiator back but I think it might just keep it plumb. We'll see once I get these brackets made and uh, we'll see how it comes out. Alright, well, I'm going to get them welded up and see how it comes out. We'll be back. Alright, guys, well, got them all welded up. That weld don't look too bad. And I uh, capped the top of them here. On this end, how they go, I cap that in right here, so yeah, pretty stout. That's the way it'll go. Pretty trick looking. Should be plenty plenty strong. Got one there clamped on the frame. Yeah, they came out good. So uh, I'll get get them bolted to my radiator because you gotta bolt them to the radiator. And then set the whole system down in here, and I'll get get the uh, back and forth where I want it. And uh, then down here, I got them two holes I got drilled here. I get it lined up and uh, drill the frame. The frame's three sixteenths thick, so I'll be able to tap it, put some bolts in there, and then uh, see how it looks. Maybe get some paint on them so they don't rust up. But yeah. Pretty cool. Caps look nice. 
rainwater won't get down into there. Alright, well, let me get back on. Alright guys, check it out. It's got a radiator mount in it now. It's nice and stout. You shake it. All your might. Don't go nowhere. Don't need them uh, braces some guys put on there. The stouting it out. This thing is strong. Looks cool too. So I uh, went down here and I had some old manifold bolts, inch long, three eighths. So I tapped the, the frame and uh, just bolted them right to the frame. They're stout. So yeah, did that side too. Bolted down in there. And I get no paint on them yet. I'll do that this week. It's supposed to be 99 degrees tomorrow, and I got to go set big giant windows. So I better bag it for a day. Clean up the shop. Got a bunch of grinding dust all over. Shop's a wreck. So yeah, pretty cool. Thought you guys might like to see this. Radiator, I got about a... Uh, you spin the fan. I'd say three quarters, seven eighths away from that bottom. Plenty far enough away. And it's leaned back just a little bit. You can barely even tell. So yeah. I well, hope you guys like it. Check it out. We'll uh, see you next time. Take care.